fun start to the second day of this bike tour. <laughs> I was uh, basically sleeping in a puddle of, <laughs> of mud and, and water. So uh, I had to bail the tent and uh, I'm now uh, just waiting out the rain here in the restroom of the campground. Uh, it's raining like crazy now uh, and uh, it's been raining on and off the whole night with uh, the thunder and lightning going all the time. So hopefully this will end in an hour or two and I can get back on the bike and uh, hit the road again. forgot to bring my helmet inside of the tent last night. It was lying in the vestibule and look how it <laughs> is right now in the morning. Woo. I'm leaving the campground now. I'm standing here in the center of Gras, and Gras is considered the perfume capital of the world. And one of the perfumeries is right behind me here, called Fragonard. It's not often I, I have to push the bike, but uh, this is one of those times. <laughs> if you look closely behind me here, you can see the campground around here somewhere. And even though it's uh, just uh, seven kilometers down there, I've already climbed almost 500 meters. <laughs> so it was quite a tough climb to start the day with here. <laughs> I'm pretty beat. I almost never push the bike, but uh, I think I've pushed the bike for at least 20 or 30 minutes now. I'm finally on a more gentle slope upwards here, so I finally can cycle again. <laughs>
The French are very kind towards cyclists. I just uh, got cheered on by a school police down in this little town here. Shouting, Allez, Allez, Bravo, Bravo, when I was going by. We left this little town now and we're starting to climb again. Seems like the theme of the day. We're going over this pass here, taking that road up on that hill there. past this uh, coal here at about 1200 meters and it's uh, gotten really cold now I think it's uh, according to my Garmin it's just over 10 degrees Celsius so uh, we've probably got a pretty major descent in front of us so I gotta fetch my jacket from the pannier here since it's gonna be even colder the coming kilometers
supermarket here to get some dinner. Uh, I'm starting to freeze to death. I think it's below 10 degrees Celsius now. I uh, really have to find a camp spot. I'm not gonna make it to Castellane that I was uh, aiming to do today. So, uh, next order of business find a camp spot. And the reason why I'm filming on this action cam instead of the G7X is because I have some really bad news. I was taking a photo uh, just a couple of kilometers back here and it was really windy so the camera with the tripod blew over and fell onto the ground and uh, the lens got pretty smashed. I was able to like kind of bend it back but uh, still don't seem to be working as it should. Uh, once I get time I'm gonna do some googling and see if I can fix it. Uh, otherwise have to be relying on this camera instead for the rest of the trip. Good evening. I'm uh, camped out here in the forest. Uh, I think I'm about uh, 15 kilometers away from Castellane. I had uh, hopes of making it to Castellane tonight, but since I got off to a pretty late start uh, this morning <laughs> due to uh, some weather issues, um, I'll have to make up that time some other day. I'm filming this now on my action cam. Like I told you earlier, my Canon G7X uh, had a little accident. Uh, the wind blew over the tripod and it got pretty banged up once it hit the asphalt. I was able to readjust the lens, but uh, there seems to be uh, some work left to do with the shutter here. So uh, once I get some internet tomorrow, I'm going to see if I can fix that as well. Uh, in the meantime I'll just have to film everything from, from this action cam instead. If you're only gonna watch one of my videos I suggest you should watch the one coming up after this one. I'm uh, cycling through the Gorges du Verdon tomorrow which is kind of Europe's Grand Canyon. I've uh, been there once before but that time by car and uh, at that time I wish I was on a bike because uh, it would be a lot easier to to stop now and then. So finally I get to do it tomorrow. There are uh, these maybe six, seven, eight hundred meter deep ravines uh, with a river going through it. And like the day today, it's gonna be a really tough day. A lot of climbing. I think I did uh, almost uh, 1500 meters of climbing today and I'm uh, assuming that tomorrow will be just as much. But uh, instead I will be rewarded with uh, really nice views over the Gorges du Verdon. So uh, until next time, have a good one. <laughs>